Hi Capricorns, Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading today. We have a very awesome reading. We do. We hope you guys are well. And Capricorn, in this reading, somebody is determined to love you, it looks like here, to be in a union with you. Yeah, we have the Simplicity card starts the Oracle spread, Capricorn. And this Simplicity card is when somebody kind of makes a wish, right? Uh, and they kind of just let go of this wafting wafting uh you know feather it can definitely be about wishes it can be about this kind of light-hearted energy here uh, i just want things to be simple and beautiful and, and and sweet yeah definitely the voyage card is with it and we see the humpback whale with the baby whale and so you know somebody is coming they're either on their way to you or you know this is you know symbolic for what they want with you right this voyage because we have trust right here so this person is trusting Capricorn. This is going to be paradise because that is what is depicted here. Yeah, so before we begin, Capricorn, if you would like your own psychic reading, you may get one. They are accurate. I'm a silver grad. You get a tarot spread at the end. Lots of fun. We do them on the phone. Uh, and yeah, and also, you know, you get both divinations like, or you get both, right? You get the psychic reading. Uh, because they both offer up different insight, unique insight. If you would like a free five-minute psychic reading with Mystic Sense, you may get one of those, and that link is below. Mm hmm. And uh, yeah, but the psychic readings, lots of fun, you guys, and uh, very cool because you get your cards done when I'm done with that, right? Yeah. So let's continue here. We have the woman holding a heart. Here she is, and you know she's definitely in love here. Uh, all she needs is for this little kind of uh, shawl to just drop to the floor because she doesn't look like she's wearing any clothes. Her headband has uh, a butterfly on it. Yeah, she's uh, she's pretty cute. <laughs> and so we have strategy as well and walking away. So somebody here is like walking away from something because they want this voyage with you. That's what's going on. And then maybe they're working on their strategy Maybe the only reason the way they can be with you, Capricorn, is to walk away. And that's why that is their strategy. It could be. And we have power. A lot of cards pulled here kind of by mistake here, right? But we have power. Uh, but no, nothing's a mistake with tarot. No, they're meant to be. We have power, celebration. We have determination and success. So this is the Ten of Cups, the success card. And the emperor is always about power. Yes, he is. Uh, except the emperor who didn't have any clothes on. Remember that? Do you guys remember that story? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and so uh, the three of cups is here, really. The three of shells, they call it. And somebody's determined to have this with you. We see this woman on the horse. Uh, we're going to cover her because she's kind of she's kind of undressed here. But uh, yeah, and she is on uh, Pegasus. She is. So she's going somewhere. She's flying on her horse because she is determined to celebrate a new, a brand new beginning with you, I believe, Capricorn, or a, a voyage, a brand new voyage with you. Yeah, you guys ever hear that song, Voyage to Atlantis? If you like love songs, soul love songs, uh, it kicks butt. Yeah, I feel like it does. So let's see what we have, you guys. And today I'll be posting for my, uh, excuse me, for my astrology video. I have one that I put up today and I go through the 12 signs and how the new moon in Aquarius will affect you. All right. That's uh, a cool video. Go check that out. And it will be at the top of the comments. I'll pin the link there. All right. Yeah. Really interesting too. Cause you know, I was talking to my sister about it too. And, uh, she's a Libra and, uh, you know, I was asking her uh, for Libra, I could talk about kind of approaching love differently. And, uh, mm -hmm. and try and having a voice like self-expression because, uh, Leo itself, which is the fifth house affecting her, uh, in this new moon is about self self-expression. So she is trying to have a voice, uh, in a situation. She definitely is. She's kind of expressing herself different and also children. She's, uh, I go, are you like dealing, you know, differently with, you know, one of her daughters, you know, and she goes, uh, yeah, I am. So she has a different approach because she has a young daughter still living at home and just things like that. And, uh, so, you know, so go check that out because I feel like they are, they are right. So astrology is, it's, it's, it's right on. So let's see. And let's see what we have though, uh, Capricorn. And today we're using two decks 
in this reading because I just want to do that. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah, and we'll use the little cards instead. Let's see, we have Capricorn for you guys. And the overall energy here is Sleeping Beauty. You see that, Capricorn? Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, don't sleep too long. It doesn't make you look good either, right? But definitely if you don't get enough sleep, yeah. <laughs> That's not a good one. Here's Sleeping Beauty. And somebody here's the two hands at the top. He's trying to grab her hand. Yes. And she's lying there, uh, you know, kind of covered a little bit here. And she's lying in the rose thicket. Uh, maybe they call it that. But, you know, these rose bushes are full of thorns and vines and uh, very beautiful here. But, you know, there's love here, but there's kind of a lesson to be learned with all these uh, thorns, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is definitely about love and feelings. We see Pisces and then we see the moon over here, definitely. Uh, and some of you, you know, but so let's see, let's put these cards down, Capricorn. Somebody wants to come and, you know, take you out of that glass case, right? And just kiss you and, you know, all right, let's see what we have here. It's a beautiful card. Wow, Capricorn. And we're going to use the traditional tarot in just a minute to clarify these cards or, you know, maybe these will be clarifiers for those. Wow, look at these cards. OMG here. Somebody has learned a lesson. We have the taskmaster here. And I, you know, sometimes call him the evil taskmaster. He's not always evil, but he kind of looks like it, right? But uh, he's like casting a spell here so he can have his holy grail. We see the rainbow that is, you know, like an arch, right? Uh, that's really what rainbow means in Spanish. It means arco iris is... Uh, the iridescent arch. So over here uh, is the, the actual Holy Grail. So he's, he's doing a spell here, performing a spell so he can have that, but it's going to have some ramifications on somebody because here's, uh, here's, this is Capricorn here, like some type of restrictions on somebody or teach them maybe a karmic lesson. But here, when we see him and we see, uh, yeah, Capricorn there, uh, yeah, somebody's learning a hard lesson. They are. Uh, and so let's see what else we have. Wow. Mm-hmm. Capricorn and, uh, yeah. All right. So Capricorn in the reading, somebody thinks, feels that, not thinks, feels, right? You can't think somebody's your, well, not really. It's better if you feel that they are your, your sleeping beauty, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, make, make sure you get yourself some nice pajamas, Capricorn, all right, because she's not wearing anything, and I don't, not much, and uh, maybe she has something on here, <laughs> and uh, let's see, Capricorn, crossing, crossing Sleeping Beauty is the, the jester, he's in prison, so this is more Capricorn energy here, what he wants is, is on the outside of the jail, outside of the cell, of course, he's sad, and here's Aquarius. So this is freedom. I want my liberation. Yeah, wow. And then go check out that new moon in Aquarius because it is about liberation. It is. Uh, and you'll see what kind when you get over there, right? But yeah. And so he wants his liberation because he wants Sleeping Beauty over here. Let's see. Why is the jester there? He's kind of like the fool a little bit, right? And we have temperance. So maybe there is a Sagittarian here. Uh, somebody here has kind of, kind of tempered their... Uh, maybe their bad behavior or, you know, self-control. That's really what that's about when we, uh, temperance is really about self-control, letting go of vices, maybe ego, but definitely self-control, harmony and balance and spiritual growth. And, and over here is the Holy Grail. This is why it's all happening. And this is like, I found true love. I don't need to go anywhere else. I'm just going straight to Capricorn's house. Yeah, leave the door open. Don't worry about your dad, Capricorn. Just kidding. <laughs> and so here we have your mom, right? Uh, who's who's there? Who's there to you, right? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Five of swords with it. There's a defeat here. This is what I mean about the taskmaster. He's doing something. He's bringing some type of an ending here. Yeah, and, you know, here is the skull. So, right? He's bringing death. He definitely is, and transformation, but with the taskmaster and Capricorn there, there's, there's some type of karmic lesson or restriction or, yeah, definitely. So now we have the five of swords. It looks like somebody, there's a defeat here. 
there's, you know, this is, there's a, somebody or something has been defeated in order to have the Holy Grail, right? This guy just won and uh, let's see. And we have clinging here in the past. Somebody could have stayed with somebody for money. Here she is and uh, right. And she's staying, she's in the cell and right. And she is, looks like she has some money with her nice clothes. And she's in the cell, but she's got a whole bunch of dough here. And that's all she is doing is counting her money. So this means that somebody was probably in a prison, a financial prison kind of, right? King of Cups. Okay. A financial prison in love. Maybe there is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Somebody could have stayed somewhere, Capricorn, because there was money. They could have clung to their money. And we have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, they just left. This is an escape. Yeah, they, they just said, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And they planned it, pretty sure, because Seven of Swords, Sevens are about contemplation. Here he is running away. So he thought about it first. Yeah, it's a premeditated escape, right? Straight to your straight to your back door, Capricorn, right? Don't be a backdoor girlfriend, Capricorn, or boyfriend, all right? Don't do that. I won't allow you to do that. <laughs> I don't think Capricorn's like that. Uh, but hey, uh, somebody wants to be your, your real deal here. They could be running away from something else, though, Capricorn. They could. And we have the... We have the woman here. She's liberating herself. More Aquarian energy. Aquarian energy here. This Holy Grail is for somebody to feel really liberated in their life. Very authentic. Like this is, I feel this is the best thing in my life. Remember the Holy Grail is finding true love. It's, it's the, the search for eternal love is over. So, you know, that's what uh, Aquarius, the eternal is very authentic, right? And that's what this Holy Grail is about. It's about somebody having their freedom, but what is very much aligned to them? Because remember, here is uh, this uh, sleeping beauty. And, you know, uh, when we see that Capricorn, we know that this person is really uh, kind of on the same page with you, right? They just can't, they can't wait to get into the glass case with you, Capricorn. So, <clears throat> yeah, it looks kind of like a tight squeeze in there. So, you know. Uh, yeah, try not to eat too much Capricorn, right? <laughs> I feel like they're coming to get you out of that for sure. They are. And with the liberation card is the 10 of wands. Look at that. So this can mean a few things, right? But this liberation, this can talk about separation sometimes, like somebody's, you know, real separation. <clears throat> we see walking away over here. Strategy walking away, but here's uh, the woman liberating herself. She's so happy. She said, I can't, yeah, I can't, you know, I can't get a lift ride. So, you know, I'm going to have this, uh, this goose, right? Fly me out of here, right? For sure. And here is, and this is about relationships. Here's Libra. She's liberate. Here's a Libra glyph. She's liberating herself from a relationship. Yeah. That no longer feels good to her. And here's the 10 of wands with it. So this could have been really hard for somebody to liberate themselves, maybe because they were married for some, right? Definitely. All right, and we have the task master. He's here with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, somebody's performing definitely a spell to kind of end something here. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's even in his book here. How am I going to do this, right? He's like spell book. He's definitely uh, to have love because here's the Knight of Cups. And so this is a confirmation. Here we have the, the nun forget her name in this reading, but in this deck, it's not really important, but she's here with the caduceus. And this is, uh, you know, about, it can be about healing definitely. And she is out here with all this nice food. Uh, so it could be about healing for sure. And this is Taurus energy, which can be about food. This is about healing for sure. It really is. And, uh, and health because here's Virgo and here's the caduceus, right? With the two little snakes that kind of go around. They still show it on some medical like devices or they still do, but this is healing. It definitely is healing. This is accepting wisdom as well. There's wisdom in this, in this healing. In other words, this is just good for somebody, right? Or 
or somebody's accepting wisdom. That could be that too. Like I need to be there. I need to be where my holy grail is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's what the jester is doing here. He's like, let me out. Let me get my sleeping beauty. So let's get a card on the uh, servitor. That's her name. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Interesting how they call her servitor. We have Virgo over here because Virgo is about service. <clears throat> okay, so here's the Ten of Pentacles reversed. And uh, yeah, this and over here, Capricorn, this is somebody, this nun's doing like a healing ritual. That's what she's doing. Yeah, she is. She's praying and she has all this bountiful food. And then right here, a bounty of food. And then we have uh, the flames, like she's burning something. So definitely she is doing some type of ritual, this nun. And we have the Ten of Pentacles with it. This is accepting wisdom and healing something. But the Ten of Pentacles reverse looks like a breakup over here. It could be. That could be what is being defeated over here. Maybe it's a set of beliefs. Maybe just ego, possibly. Because the pentacles can be about belief systems. They can. And in the environment here is not just about money, no, uh, or family, right, or a legacy, not always. Uh, but here we have this card here, and it talks about character assassination it, uh, with the Ace of Cups. Look at that. So whoever's coming, Capricorn, is being either criticized or gossiped about or condemned because this lady here is stuck here and there's a notice and her mom's looking at her like, oh, you poor thing. Yeah, her mom. And uh, she is being punished. So there could be punishment here. There really could be. Uh, and so, or somebody's criticizing. These guys are pretty sinister. They are. Uh, they're pretty mean. And you can tell by, look at this guy. Look at his face. He looks like, you know, just has a mean look on his face all the time. With the Ace of Cups. Yeah, somebody's talking about some type of a breakup here or criticizing their person for leaving. Yeah, look at that. Wow. And here it is. They're criticizing their person for wanting a new beginning in love with you, Capricorn. Ace of Cups here. Here's the Holy Grail. The search for eternal love is over with Sleeping Beauty. Wow. And here we have the warrior. And <clears throat> let's get a card on the warrior. Showing up with the two of wands reversed. Okay, so the warrior comes to fight for his cause. And I feel like in the past, somebody was at a crossroads. Maybe because they were in another situation. Two of wands. And this is also reversed. This is also somebody who already made this choice to move forward with you and fight for this. <clears throat> Seven of swords right here is the strategy, Capricorn. Their plan. Yeah, maybe they were planning in jail over here. That's what the gesture is, right? You could be saying, no, they're not, all right? <laughs> and in the outcome, the potential outcome is the kind of ailing king. Yeah, when I say ailing, it doesn't mean he's drinking pale ale, no? Or IPA, right? Which I used to call IPA. Mm -hmm. Right, I have my own name for everything, for sure. <laughs> and here is the ailing king, and he's there sleeping. <clears throat> and we have, mm -hmm, he's ailing in love. This is the Leo glyph, or he wants to create his life. Here's Virgo. Wow, this person could be depressed because Virgo is about health. He's laying there, and he has these potions next to him. Uh, maybe they are, you know. <coughs> Maybe he got them from the medicine man, right, down the street or, you know, in the village, possibly. But uh, he's the king, and he's drink he has these potions to help him sleep and to help him deal with, you know, uh, with his situation. And interesting how we have Virgo here. He's not really, really in good health because he's ailing, but Virgo's about daily life. And this card is about a man who could be a woman, though, but uh, somebody here who basically is their life. They feel like they're really unhappy and it's starting to affect their health. Uh, maybe just their emotional at this point, but affect their health. And every day they try to be optimistic though. They, you know, they tried to be optimistic for a very long time because uh, he goes to bed every night and then he, you know, he gets up in the morning and he says, well, maybe today will be better. But this is, uh, and he comes to understand that no, it's not going to be better. 
I need the Holy Grail. I need what's really authentic for me and uh, like what's true in my life. And this is the truth is this person loves you because we have the Holy Grail showing up. And we'll get one card on the ailing king. Let's see here. Unless it's a king, right? And we have the Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past, Capricorn, who wants to return to you. Definitely. If you guys are, <clears throat> if this is, if you know all about this, because this looks secretive, like like they're, they're going to tell you when they're ready to show up. That's really how it looks. But this person is trusting this. We have the Voyage and the Trust card. Yeah, and they know their life is no good, Capricorn, with the ailing king. Wow. They're accepting the truth here with the servitor. She's a nun, Capricorn. She's supposed to accept the truth, right? I hope so. I hope she tells the truth, right? Yeah, she better, right? No, I'm just teasing you guys. <laughs> We're going to end the reading. Thank you so much for joining me here. If you want to see my astrology video, a uh, cool video, right, telling you how the new moon affects every sign. I will pin that, as I have mentioned in the comments. Thanks so much, you guys. And uh, please remember to like, share, and subscribe.